Okay, the first thing I wanted to do was talk about, number one, if you can see the floor here, when we first got this house, uh, there was like a whole bunch of drop tubes, I'm going to slowly pan around here, uh, from the furnace here, and what was happening was, is they were all dropping from the back side of the furnace there underneath and running water to this drain. So the first thing I decided to do was, and my wife calls this uh, my Martian. Hang on a minute, I'm going to go over here and I should put an angle here. And then basically what we have is, ta-da, she put eyeballs on it, called it the Martian. Um, if you notice my Martian here, uh, just for sake of uh, seeing it, uh, it's just a bunch of PZV that I spray painted black. But as you can see, we have the hose dumping in here from the uh, water softener. I will have the hoses from the furnace here going in as well and then the air conditioning I brought it around from the back side and dumped it right into here so now all of the water runs through this and ta-da we have had zero water on the floor everything goes directly into the drain it's all good so it's one of the first things I wanted to show you just because um, on top of it if I I don't know if you can see it back there very well, but you can see from the back corner of the furnace the dripping, okay? The reason why the drip was going on was, we'll take you over here, right here. Okay, if you notice this, this is where the fan sits. Now, this fan is an exhaust fan, basically designed to pull out the exhaust fumes from the uh, uh, from the chamber inside the furnace there because it's a 90 percent and higher efficiency um, this area down in the bottom here which I've had to totally redo was all rust so I had to clean all this up and it was rust all the way over to where the drain hole is it was rust all the way back over into here this pipe here was just smathered in a bunch of tar um, but the real damage is here. If you notice around this hole there should have been something protecting it. Now what I am going to do is we're going to switch over here in a second and I'm going to show you what should have been there. But when I tried to get a seal for this, um, you know like a, a gasket seal, um, nobody said they had one. They don't make them anymore. And they also don't make this thing called a grommet which the grommet should fit, and if you notice this hole here, there's a lip on this hole, okay? The grommet needs to fit right inside here, okay? And then basically protect this area from taking on the water. So I'm gonna pan back for a second so you can get a better bird's eye view of this. Again, this is a 30 plus year old um, uh, uh, Amana uh, furnace, and it is in like, now that I've rebuilt the whole thing, it's in prime condition. Everything's looking really good. Um, but it was an absolute mess. And like I said, um, it was because of this one area right here. Somebody did work on this, did not replace the grommet. And there's a reason they didn't replace the grommet. You cannot buy the grommets anymore. So basically that just made a whole big mess there water everywhere so uh, i am going to switch around so that i can show you the parts that i'm putting back in real quick uh, so give me a few seconds okay now here's what we've got here now what i'm going to show you here and i can't pan this thing back much more so i really apologize the film quality is not real good today but this is the um i took the old um if you take a look at this area here, I took the old, and believe me, it wasn't easy to get off. I peeled off the old gasket and had them do the best job they could with creating a new gasket. Now this gasket sets right there. Ta-da! And they did a great job of, of getting this baby to be almost identical to the old gasket so but that's just to give you an idea of where this gasket will be sitting and I wanted to put it on there while you guys were watching this to see how good these guys um, my local furnace guy is really a, an amazing character um, and he's also the one that got me this this part now let me let me show you this part okay this is 
going to go into here and it's going to bridge that gap. Now understand that this grommet, okay, if you can see the corners here, I actually had to cut all of this off. It was much too large to fit into this hole, okay. But also, this area here had to be ground out because this hole on this side was smaller. So if you realize, I basically went to a furnace company, or I should say a heating and air conditioning company, my local one, and they said, Mark, this is all we got. We got this piece in the back. You know, they had brought out three different pieces. Um, but here's the thing. When I ordered this, just to give you an idea, um, where did that go? There it is. Okay. When I ordered this piece, this is what they sent me. Okay. I want you to see this. <laughs> uh, and again, I'm so sorry for jostling the camera. But this right here is what they sent me. If you notice, that'll fall right inside this whole apparatus. So this is the only gasket that was offered for this particular motor. So again, those parts don't exist. That's why somebody put this together without it. Okay, so I manufactured this part from a junk piece that I got at my local furnace shop. Okay, and then this piece now, and I'm going to take it up here and show you, fits... If you notice this hole here, I'm going to try to get that in there. When you put it in the hole, it fits perfectly to the dimensions of that hole. Okay, so that's what I wanted you to see, is that right there. See? And see, now once this sets the way that it does, um, I'm going to permatex, use a high temp permatex to, you know, get that to, to stay in there. But if you notice, and I really want you guys to get this, okay? This is the old motor. This thing's been on this thing for 30 years. Runs like a top though. It's amazing. This slides in perfectly. That fits in and it also fits right in there perfectly. Okay, so now we will have no more water, no more leaks, no more problems. Everything will be fine. The reason I'm making this video today is because uh, I called a couple different furnace people and they said, oh, you don't need a gasket, you don't need a grommet, you don't need any of that. They said just permatex the heck out of it and call it good. And frankly, I didn't really consider that a great option or idea. Um, so I'm very glad that my local furnace guy um, was able to get me, again, this piece and basically fix my problem. And again, uh, so if you have a Amana, okay, and I will put on this uh, video, I will put the, the, the actual brand or the serial number of this furnace because there are some people out here who have this furnace. I'm going to pan back a little bit so you can see the rest of the furnace. Um, so again, great looking furnace as far as that. It runs perfectly fine. Um, the only problem I was having is just a ton of water coming off of this thing and... So, if you've got water coming off of your old furnace, you may want to check this area right here. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.